Don't yes, ma'am. Too much. Okay, we are live. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to another live show on Winnie's Corner. We are excited. Hello and I, we are excited to be with you today. And we are here to discuss another very exciting topic. And we really hope that by the time we are done, you know, all of us will learn something. So as usual, my name is Winnie Shom, and I make videos on relationship, marriage, and faith. And to, with me today, it's Dr. Eloho, <clears throat> and she's here so we can tackle this topic together and give, of course, our views on this particular topic. So let me allow her to introduce herself. Hi, everyone on Winnie's Corner, as usual. It's always great to be here on Winnie's Corner. Winnie is doing, I have to speak Winnie, you're doing an amazing job. And um, yeah, hello guys, this is Eloho here. Yeah. Let's start oh. at, uh, let's discuss about it, about this topic, the wife and her role. Yeah, that's true. Thank you so much. And I'm, and I'm always excited to have you to be part of this. And I pray that you know, God will continue to bless you. And you know, thank you so much. Yeah, so we are just going to usually, you know, Amy is always part of this platform, but she couldn't make it today. So we will miss her. <laughs> and we hope that she's able to, you know, make it in the coming live shows. Yeah, so I I'm sure that she will be in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we really appreciate that input from the comment section, though. So if you're watching us, uh, please remember that you can always send us a question. And, uh, and also, as we are talking, if you have something to add, of course, we will gladly want to know. Because in as much as we are here to give what we have, we are also here to receive, you know, to learn as well. So we appreciate you when you are part of it and when you contribute. So, Eloho. <laughs> So, uh, glory be to God, both of us, you know, are wives, you know, and it's a very, you know, being a wife, it's, it's, it's a very humble position. And I say humble position because when you get to understand, you know, what uh, being a wife is, then you get to understand uh, how humble the position is. I don't know if I've made sense, but <laughs> I'm sure you get it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So I just uh, the reason why, you know, I wanted us to talk about this, uh, this topic was because, you know, I got I get a lot of questions that people ask me. And it's from those kind of questions that I try to establish topics, you know, that we can discuss here so that everyone, not only those who come to me privately can benefit, but also everyone else can benefit. You know, so that's the reason because I got a, a question of someone writing to me, not really knowing, uh, whether, not really being satisfied in being a wife. She felt like, like uh, be, that there was more to being a wife, mm -hmm. and it, it's really, it's really something that can be confusing. So that's why I want us to, from God's point of view, or when when we look at God's mind when it comes to wife, the role He established. Mm -hmm for us as, as women to be wives, what does he really mean? So I'm going to give you the platform to start by telling us what does being a wife, who is a wife? All right, uh, first of all, I think it's good that we get a definition of the word wife. The definition of the word wife. So I went to the dictionary, I checked on Webster, Miriam Webster, and it says, uh, one, a woman who is acting in a specified capacity. And then another definition was, um, or is a female partner in marriage. Mm. Those were the definitions that I got. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, looking, things um, uh, we're talking from Bible context, right? In the Bible. The, the the wife is the woman and the man is the husband so mm. that, yeah so that's the definition for wife okay so the, the wife is is the is the woman and the um okay so i i, I so let, let's look at uh proverbs the proverbs 31 woman okay because uh, someone was telling me some days ago that 
uh, most times Christian women refer to the Proverbs 31 woman and that <clears throat> that we cannot refer to the Proverbs 31 woman because it's not in our time. Okay. And that, that yeah, and that, that woman doesn't tell a time. She doesn't portray the us now, and that she portrays a different generation where things worked differently. But I beg to disagree because if we can say that for the Proverbs 31 woman, therefore we can say that there are other things, you know, in, in the in the word of God that mm -hmm. truly apply to us because we are of a different generation. And more to that, when we when we look at the Proverbs 31 woman, it's not even about the time, it's about the things she did and the way she carried herself. So it's not even about uh, what she did, it's the way she did what she did. And to an extent to what she did. And when you look at that, you will see that she was an excellent wife. Like I was looking at another, an another, uh, an, a, another meaning of a virtuous woman. And the version says an excellent woman who can, an, an excellent wife who can find. So yeah. when we talk about wife, we are mm -hmm. talking about to an extent, I say to an extent because everything is not white and black, you know, we are talking to a greater extent, the, the definition of who the Proverbs 31 woman was, you know, and how she relates to us, you know. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now with that said, let's come to our society now. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and the first thing I want to mention is that the, the extent to which culture interferes in this mm -hmm. marriage institution cannot be underrated. Yeah. And it cannot be taken for granted. There mm -hmm. is a very big influence that culture has <clears throat> on the marriage institution as established by God. Mm -hmm. And with that said, let's get to see what what is it what is the difference because many people say that for me to be a wife or for me to be a wife it means i need to cook and clean i need to wash my husband's clothes i need to make sure that i serve him on the table i need to make sure that you know his his uh, um his food is ready and like uh, someone was telling me that in, in their generation which is in a mother's generation they used to be so obedient to their husband, it's a good thing. I'm not saying that it's, it, it's a bad thing to be obedient, but she was just saying it that they used to be so obedient that they would ask their husband, do you want to eat your food first before you eat or do you want to eat before you eat your food? <laughs> I don't know if you heard about that statement. And, <laughs> and <laughs> that, that was how it was. And, and to them, that was what being a wife is. And okay. the person was telling me that this is our generation. We don't know what being a wife is. We are just all over the place, you know, talking about my rights, your rights, you know, and that that is how being a wife should be. You know, the kind of disposition where you ask your husband, do you want to eat your food before you eat or do you want to eat before you eat your food? So what do you think about that, Eloha? Um, Winnie, huh? I think we are having so many arguments in these days. You know, we're having so many arguments. Mm. I was speaking with someone and the person made me realize something like the reason why some people are beginning to question some of these things is comes from like rebelliousness. And the rebelliousness is due to oppression. Right. Let's take the Bible the way it is. Now, we are basing it on the Bible context. So we're not talking, if you're not believing or you you don't believe in, in Jesus, you don't believe in the Bible, this does not, it's not operational in your own context. I'm talking of those of us who believe, right? Mm -hmm. Now, amongst those of us who believe, there are some people who are, Bible says, see, Proverbs 31, if you read it very well, according to, to the context, verse 1 says, listen, my son. This is a woman admonishing her son. How he should go about picking a wife. If you look at it very well, he uses um, verse 3. Do not spend your strength on women. He goes on to tell him, Mind your way. So he, she's admonishing her son in this way. Now, then she goes on to say, 
when you want to pick a wife, it's like I want to tell my children, when you want to pick a wife, look out for this, look out for this, look out for this. Because you understand that when you have a good wife, and this is the wife that she's talking about, it's not just anybody can be a woman, but not everybody can be a wife. Not everybody can also be a good wife. Mm -hmm. She was specific in the kind of qualities that she was advising her son to get a good wife, a virtuous wife, so that he can enjoy his life and find meaning, right? This was mm -hmm. what she was advising him. And the reason why some people are bringing arguments into all of these things is, as far as I'm concerned, is because some men are oppressing their wives. If you don't oppress your wife, and if you don't think she's a slave, if you consider her your partner, your other, yourself, an extension of yourself, as the Bible has said it should be, if you consider her in that light, you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to oppress her. Because mm -hmm. it's the question that they begin to rebel and say, what is the meaning of this wife? They start to question it. What is the meaning of the word wife? Why do we have to do this? Why do we? Some women are beginning to question the word wife and the role of the wife. So I think we should all go back to the original definition. I think we should all go back to the original definition that Bible has set for us as this is the target. Like this is the job description. Like this is how it should work, right? We walk towards it. Now, what did the Bible say? What did Proverbs about uh, the kind of wife that this woman was recommending for her son? The kind of wife he was recommending was a, a virtuous one, a hardworking one. You don't feel the spiritual intellect, um, wisdom, business sense, investment sense, how to uh, 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 administer her, her, her home, right? This was the kind of woman that the Bible, that this woman was recommending for her son, okay? So I don't think has have things really changed. We, we can look at different contexts. When you say cooking, 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 it's not, all, it's not all women that grew up cooking, cooking, cooking. I don't have girls. My sons will go to their own homes knowing how to cook. Yeah. If you fall in love with someone else who doesn't know how to cook, at least they won't be hungry. One person knows how to cook. For me, I don't see, uh, so long as the woman is, there has to be a, 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 how do I put it? It's a partnership. It's a teamwork. For me, it's not about, um, one person shouldn't die carrying the job, car carrying the burden, rather. Mm. It's a teamwork. And when we do it together with joy, giving our all, I think that's the way it's supposed to work better. So for me, that is, uh, the, it, 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 in our parents' time, they were, were they doing it according to the Bible? First of all, let's answer that. Wife, wife, wife. Wife in the olden days. If you say wife in the olden days, is not the same as wife as now. Were those wives you are looking at, were they doing it according to the Bible? I mean, the man and the woman. Because the wife does not stand alone. The wife is not a, it's not a, it does not operate in vacuum. The wife mm. is to a husband. So well, let's not forget that. You know, when you employ somebody in your own, in your own business and, 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 and something is not going well. I mean, this is why they have all this mental health, all these programs, because you want your employer, you want the, your employees rather to be happy. You want them to put their all. So you make sure that the environment is conducive for them mm. to be creative and innovative. So it is all based on this. If we take that concept and we put it into the marriage, how is the husband grooming this woman? How is he encouraging her to thrive in that environment, right? We have to put all of this into the context. So for me, a virtuous woman does not occur in a vacuum. She has these potentials. She has this capacity, right? She can bring so much to the table. If you, as a husband, know how to harness those, uh, mm. uh, yes. Mm. I'm going to add to what Eloha said to say that, you know, 
the the role of a the role of a wife it's it's more than cooking cleaning yes, yes. serving yes a woman can be a very good cook a woman can do cooking cleaning mm -hmm. serving and not mm -hmm. be a good wife yes and a woman cannot be doing will not do the cooking cleaning and be a good wife so yes. another thing i want to mention is that it depends on also to an extent it depends on the man you're married to men are different and men want one uh, want different things different yes. men want different things from their wives to 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 a particular man being a good wife to him will be that you are the one that cooks his food and no one else Yes. If he says that, oh, this is my wife is good, ah, she takes care of me. To that, that to him, it's so precious that if you're not doing that to him, you're not being a good wife. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it, it's not it's not blue and black. So the fact that in, in your marriage you are not cooking, and because of the kind of husband you you are, you are not playing the cooking role, not like you are not being the cook as as per se. But at the yes. same time, your husband adores you. You know, he yes. he know you are the best. It doesn't yes. mean that another woman that does that, you know, it, it, it's, it's not, rest. yeah, it, it's not playing her role. So we yes. need to look at it in relation to the man you're married to because men are different, you know. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. the cooking and cleaning and this and that and that and that and that, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't really define that you're playing your role well, you uh -huh. know, in as much as, as I, I will relate to this cooking and cleaning. Okay. So I was having this discussion with someone and I was talking about, you know, someone wrote an article and said, and so the person said the roles of a woman is to cook for the husband, uh -huh. clean for the love, the husband, respect the husband. Um, what did he say? Make sure that the husband is always happy. And I'm like, what? How can it be my role to make sure that you're happy? That is the most difficult <laughs> role because one thing about happiness is that once your happiness is dependent on any person, it wouldn't last. And that's why in marriage, you cannot, you cannot be happy in marriage. You cannot be continuously happy in marriage without taking your happiness from, from, from Christ. Because you'll be happy today with your husband and tomorrow he gets you so uh, angry that... <laughs> there is no iota of happiness in in him being your husband and and yeah. the same thing for the wife as well a husband yeah. can be happy with the wife today and tomorrow she does something that is like you know so Absolutely. what i'm trying to say is is that the role of a woman is not dependent by barely some acts it's dependent more about you know a purpose is it's depending on let's look at Let's look at why do we think uh, uh, God put the woman in that position? Uh. Okay, let's go to Genesis. It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make, I'll make him a helper. The fact that you are a helper means that someone needs help. When, when you're going to a company to work, that company needs you. And they need your help. In, then even though they are paying you in that company sense, but they need your help. Without mm -hmm. you, that company cannot grow. So, yes. then, so you are a wife to your husband. God made you a wife to the husband because he knows that this man cannot do without you. You know, so he did not put be his helper. You know, it doesn't mean it's not a matter of position. It's not a matter because the way we human beings we process things, we process it always to our disadvantage. Oh, because I'm the helper, that means that. I, and so, so men take it literally. Helper, it means like house help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they take it literally. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So is, yeah and and why, this is this is why some people, some men actually feel as I don't know. You see a situation where there is this notion. You know, sometimes they don't say it, too, but there's this notion, or in their action, or in the way they speak, or in the way they do things, that make it look as if the woman is a slave. Mm. There is a difference. She is not a slave. She's not a slave. Yeah. You see, Proverbs 31 woman doesn't look like this woman is a slave. In fact, they say she has helps. Mm. Yeah, I, Proverbs 31. It right? shows that 
it has helps. That's what it says. So she's not a slave. Mm. He has people, she is, is, is someone who is an administrator. Someone mm. who is people do this, do this, do this, do that, get this done, and make sh making sure that all these things are getting done. You know, that's what it is. So she's not a slave that should be oppressed when we begin to love our wives. You know, you, you were talking so beautifully about uh, submission the other day. When a man loves his wife, submission is easy. Exactly. Submission is easy. In fact, it's like the mumu button of any woman. I mm. describe it. You know, it's, this, it's the same way. The way the, the man res responds to her in love, she reciprocates in submission. I'm not saying who is doing first. I'm not here to argue who is. I'm, I, we are talking about the roles. There are roles. There are roles. I, these are what we are trying to talk about. The role of the wife. Mm. You, 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 you don't struggle. You don't... It's a, if we do it the way the Bible has talked about, Bible says that the man will leave his uh, parents, leave his family, and cleave to his wife. That means he will forsake every other thing, every other person. I mean, the family was all he knew before. He will forsake them and cleave to his wife. That was the first. That was the first word. That was the first. Uh, passage that I saw that if you if you check the Bible before then I don't I, I'm not sure there was any word wife but at that point you have that verse that says the man will cling to his wife you know it shows how important her role is he will cleave he will he will as if his life depends on her you know, when you say she's going to help him, he needs her. When we begin to understand our roles in that context, that, and it's a privilege. It's a privilege. We had the discussion um, back in uh, uh, Sisters Fellowship in, uh, in uh, Uvascular back in the days. It's a privilege. Women, we need to understand, we need to consider these roles as it's a privilege for us to serve in this area, in this position in this role sometimes it's not going to be easy all the time it's not going to be easy all the time you know but it becomes you what did the proverb 31 uh, the man in that did you see what the man said the man what the man said to her he said he said the husband praises her i love this verse eh, so much the husband praises her many women do noble things but you surpass them all how many men praise their wives? I know where I work. When, when I work in a place where my boss is um, appreciative of me, I do more. It's the same thing. When I praise my kids, they want to do more. They want to do more. So I think as human beings, when we are appreciated, when we are praised, we want to do more. You know, we want to we want to show that oh, we 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 acknowledge the praise and we want to do more. Yeah, so it's really really important. It's really important that we understand our roles. You know, we understand what we are supposed to do in that capacity. Yes. Wow, you've spoken so well, and I and I, I hope that you know those who watch those who are watching, and mm -hmm. those who watch in the future, you know, mm -hmm. they are going to take a lot. Because mm -hmm. this is a platform where we want to empower in the with the right mindset, with the right mindset, like with, with the mindset that comes with God's intention for yes. relationships and marriages. And yes. I, I'm sure that those who listen to this video, you know, they are going to get it. And when 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 something comes and it's God's intention, it always comes with the power to transform. So mm -hmm. I pray that those who watch this video uh, in the future, and even those who are watching, they can get something. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add to what Eloha has said that every man cannot do without the wife. 
remember the statement is everyone cannot do every man every husband cannot do without a wife exactly. i didn't say every man cannot do without a woman because those are two different things if you're married to to your wife you cannot do without her because there is a way she has to compliment you that god has made that the two yes. of you have to work together to fulfill yes. his purpose here yes. on earth uh -huh. so you cannot do without your wife and and and, yes. and and for you as a wife for you to know that's that your husband cannot do without you then you you have to know how valuable you are you know i and the law we are trying to establish that that the role of a wife is not alone connected to 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 washing the plates because I, women will send questions and say you know i do everything for my husband i clean the house i cook i i do this i do this i do this but i don't feel like he he really appreciates me why don't you ask yourself what that man really needs because there are some husbands they don't really care whether you cook or clean they don't really care whether you you clean the house or not they care about a woman who is going to encourage them they care about a woman who is going to appreciate them they care about a woman who is going to submit to their leadership and i was listening to a video on submission and the video said submission means submitting to the mission and we had, if you've not watched a, a live video on submission you can go to the video of, of last week it was really I, I had to listen to it and i was so blessed you know by by the whole video so what was I saying at all? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, that's how I easily get distracted. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you're making the complaint that you're cleaning, you're cooking and doing all of those things and you, and you feel like your husband is not, is not getting, he's not appreciating you. There mm. is something more. God's mm. intention for you as a wife is not that you should become a cook and a cleaner only. Even though it's okay for, for you to cook for your husband, we are not saying that it's not okay. But why, as a wife, why are you going to limit yourself to, to cooking? What is cooking? In the world today, husbands can even cook better than wives. So if your husband can cook better than you, so what is your role? Your, it means your role is finished now. It means you don't have any role anymore. Uh, Winnie, you already said it in one of your videos. I don't know when now. You talked about communication. Yes. We, we have this we cannot do without communicating yeah time when the love was going sweet and uh, uh, before the marriage these things have to be put on the table mm. i'm not a good cook put on the table what you what you know that you cannot take what you know that you cannot you you are the one seeking for helper you are seeking for helper you have to know what you really want. Exactly. Oh, you no. to really, yes. You have to know what you really in what mm. area do you need help. This person is not coming as Jesus, just coming as a helper. Helper, mm. not to carry the load of this life or to solve the problem of your your carry the baggage of uh, your previous life or whatever. There is a specific need that that wife is coming to help with. You have to know what you want. And when you know what you want, find that thing that you want. You see this woman who is advising her son. Look for this, look for this, look for this. That is it. When you are going around, that's why the Bible says, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing. You don't sit in, down and find. You search. It's a doing word. You search. Action, you search. It's not you don't they didn't say you search one day, you search, then you find what you are looking for. You know, it has to be that you have found what it's not that hey, let me manage this one. Doesn't have a B, what I really, really doesn't have all the things that I really, really want, yeah. but it can cook and it can clean. So therefore, I can manage. Find what you are looking for. For mm. so you can go and complain tomorrow. Mm. Find what you Mm. So that exactly. you can her and she can do mm. better. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So, hello. You've mentioned something very important that men, men, they are the, they are the ones that are looking for the helper. You know. Yes. So then they are the ones that are searching, and and I think that's why you know even the society, the, most people say that it's wrong for a woman to go searching. 
<laughs> you know, it, it, yeah. it, 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 it has been made such a way that it's always the man that is the position to look, you know, because it's the one he that finds there is a searching going on and they, there is a finding that has to that has to happen. So that's I why most times they'll say, oh, a woman yeah. that is searching for a husband, ah, they just they just tack you as desperate, you know, because but I believe that there are some women who search very discreetly, you know. <laughs> you, you can search discreetly. Strategically. You have to be strategic. You have to be strategic. You, know? you have to be visible. You have to be visible. Yes. Yeah. You have to be visible to enable the search. Exactly. But, yeah. But you are the one who is to be found. Yeah. You are not the one to do the finding. And then when you are found, when you are being found, mm. Now, this person that has been found, before the person is saying that, uh, the person is asking you, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. Before you say yes, make sure it's the person you can submit to. Make sure. Because you cannot submit to everybody. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. It's not everybody you can submit to. You can only submit to your husband. Eh? So make sure that is it is a, it's a, that man that is asking you and you are about to say yes. You are saying yes to a man that you can submit to. It will become easy for you. Now, like you said in your previous videos, if you say yes to a man, because you have already, it's laid out already, the woman submits to the man. The man submits to Christ. Do you see it? So if the man is not submitted to Christ, submission will not be easy. Because the context, we have to look at the context. The woman submits to the man. The man submits to Christ. So that is it. Mm -hmm. So when that man comes to you and says, I love you, will you marry me? Check it very well, my sister. Is this the kind of man I can submit to? Is this the man I can help? Ask him, what do you need help for? Exactly. <clears throat> Hello. Mm -hmm. you've, said, you've said something very important. I, I remember I watched this preaching and this pastor was saying that, <clears throat> it was a woman pastor, and she was saying that <clears throat> many women just marry. Before you marry a man, <clears throat> you need to know what exactly you are submitting to. What is a mission? What mission are you submitting to? You know, mm -hmm. so because, because you know, I, we had this conversation. I was like, you know, you, you need to see something. Then there needs to be a direction. You need to see where you're playing your role. Like where, 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 how, how am I helping? And we are talking about a, a, a wife being a helper. And let's talk, let, let's talk about, you know, John 14. I think uh, Jesus was talking there and, and he says, he say, I will not leave you alone. I will sell, send you a helper. Mm -hmm. So the, the father didn't leave the man alone. He's, he, do, do you know how important or how indispensable the ministry of the Holy Spirit is, is it, it is to us Christian. That's mm. how indispensable mm. the ministry of the wife is in a family. Mm. Without the yeah. wife, things will not go. Like True. things will not go. So without her playing her role in a way that is supposed to be played, things will not go. Like Eleho said something. You know, the, the fact that the man needs help doesn't mean that you need to come and take over and say, I'm here to help you sit down. You know, just look for a place. Just go behind me. Let me. I'm here to help you. No, that's not the kind of help. It, it it's about pushing things up. You know, it's about lifting him. And the, the one one thing about God is that when you, you know, one thing about God is that when you lift your husband, you lift yourself. Yes. And it's just general about life. When you lift people up, you lift yourself. So yes. most times, women want to be in a position where they want to be. What about me? What about me? You've not understood. You think you you, you yeah. think because you've not understood that that he, you guys are one. You know he, he might be the one that that is 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 representing your family, is it your family? But it includes leading all of you. What whatsoever mm -hmm. results that comes from it, you benefit from it immediately. Like it, yes. it's like it's there is nothing. There's not stealing anything away from you. There is not taking anything away from you. So you playing yeah. your role as a wife doesn't diminish doesn't diminish your personality. And I mm -hmm. and I, I think Eloha mentioned something about treating your our wives with. I, I love men who treat their wives well. Like when I see a man that treats their wife well, I, I have a lot of respect for them because it's yeah. showing that you know they are in they are doing what God is recommended 
that God is recommending them to do, to love yeah. your wives. And mm -hmm. it, Lord, you said something, you said, where, where there is love, submission will be easy. Where yes. there is no love, submission is very, it, it's very, it's hard. Let me say that way. Because, uh, you know, Elvis made a statement yesterday, we were talking about this topic, and he said that, that uh, it, it, uh, submission and, and, and uh, love go together, but they are mutually exclusive. Which mm -hmm. means that even though the wife, the husband is supposed to love the wife, and the wife is supposed to um, to submit to the husband, mm -hmm. it, it's, still, it's still going to happen if one doesn't do their role. That's that's the way it's supposed to. Be. Like for example, uh, you submit to your husband, even if you feel like you know, he, you know, he's not doing things right or he's not loving you the right way. That's how mm -hmm. the father recommends us to 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 do it. it it's mutually. Yeah exclusive but it it, it it cannot do without the other that do you have anything to add it it works better mm. if it works better yes it's, it's like when they say uh how do they say this now in mathematics they say um z is a fun or x is a function of y Mm. That's when you say, okay, uh, love. Uh, that's when you are trying to explain that okay, if you don't love me, then I will not submit. Mm. You know? But instead, we have a, a, a an equation that is more like when there is love and there is submission, we have successful marriages. You get. It. We mm -hmm. have. It becomes easier to play your role. You know, so that's how the equation should be. It should not be um I um if there's no love, there'll be no submission, or if there's no submission, there'll be no love. It should be more like both of us doing it together mm. and everything you are loving. You know, I encourage you, I tell you, I communicate with you, I tell you in this way, I like the way you love me this way, I like the way you express your love this way, I love the way you act, you know, in love this way and then he also is telling me i love the way you submit in this regard submission to me i, I like the way you did this for me that is an expression of your submission to me mm. you know, all of this when we are communicating like this we're building each other up we're challenging each other it doesn't mean that every day it works out though. it doesn't mean that every day it's it's it, it was easy to 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 love or to submit but we are working at it and we're you know improving every day so it's really really i think it's very it's very interesting and very important that we understand each person understanding their roles is very important it creates a peaceful environment now the woman is expected to be a peacemaker that's one of her roles making peace and what the Bible say? The Bible says in this Proverbs 31 that the husband is recognized at the gates because of the woman's behavior, because of the wife's behavior, because of the way she carries herself. She doesn't have time for all these same um, idle things. That Proverbs 31 says it as well. She doesn't engage in all these idle uh, things. She's always, she's busy. She's very busy using her time judiciously, right? They say they praise the husband at the gate. Who is the person who is doing the, the job? It is the way the woman is carrying herself. Let's say she's even working in some, she's, she's not a stay-at-home mom, she works. They know the husband at the gate because of the way she comports herself, the way she carries herself, the way she addresses people, the way, you know, that is, the husband is praised. At the end of the day, just like you said, the husband enjoys from getting, finding a good wife. You know, you muted. You mute. You're muted. You're muted. I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> I'm okay. so sorry. Okay, so we have some messages that have been coming in. Uh, Elvis Sham says, "Praise inspires the praise inspires the woman to do more." Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. He, yes. He, he was reacting to what you said about yes. a husband yes. praising uh, yes. their their wives, and yes. then he says again. Position yourself to be found. When you also yes. talk about the searching yes. here and the finding, yes. so that's yes. what we talk about strategic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes. and we have Victoria say so very true. Uh, yes. Cassie says thank you, Winnie. Thank you for watching, Lorian. 
Roslyn Sharif, thank you for watching. She says, please take it easy. <laughs> you are talking so fast. Yeah, thank oh, you. Sorry. It is the passion. It's the passion. Sorry, yes. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys all so much for for watching. You can, if you have a question, please, you can write in the comment section. But thank you all for watching. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we are trying to establish, you know, the role of of the wife. What is really mm -hmm. the role of the wife? I think from the beginning, I and Elo, we've established that, you know, it's not all about the traditional cooking and cleaning, which we've established that there's nothing wrong with that. But most yeah. women, they, 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 they limit themselves to being the woman in the kitchen, to being just the woman, you know, in the house doing nothing and, and just cooking and cleaning. No, you are, you are, you, your role is more than that. And we talked about the fact that, you know, the father has sent you as a helper to your husband, you know, yeah. and you are indispensable. And yes. when you're helping him, you are in turn helping yourself and your yes. children, and you, mm -hmm. and you're bringing glory to God's to God's purpose for your marriage. So mm -hmm. don't feel like oh why? Because I I had a woman, a woman told me herself that is it always about the man? She got it wrong. It means you're still seeing yourself as separate. You're still seeing yourself as being your own and then him being his own. And most women, they, they don't come to the marriage to help the man. They come into the marriage to use the man to help themselves. You know, <laughs> and it, it, those are some of, yeah, exactly. Those are some of the selfish reasons why, you know, men, a women get married to the man. You know, I, I don't want to be a, a helper. You know, she's there just to see how that man's position is going to benefit her. They have already said it. Like uh, I can't remember who exactly now said this. Uh, when the purpose for a thing or a mission, let's say, for example, in this context now, is not understood. Yeah, abuse. abuse. Yeah, abuse. exactly. Yes. So yeah, when we, go, mm -hmm. we, we have to go to the original design. What's the original? Mm. The original mm. design. Was selfishness was not in the equation in the original exactly mm. it was the basis for love. Love, let love abound. Mm. Love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. Now, if all of these are going as it should be, nobody will enter into marriage thinking of myself. Mm. Be last. You're thinking more of the other person. How mm. can I meet? How can I be a helper? To this person, how can mm. I carry the mission in this person's life? And he's also thinking, how can I be a blessing to my wife? Mm. You see, if we go according to the original design, there will be no problem. problem. There will no problem. Yeah, yeah. hello, you've, you've said it all. You know, yeah. there, there is this, there is abuse of this marriage institution, and there yeah. is a lot of selfishness. I think it's because people, you know, most people haven't come to really understand what marriage really is. You know, when 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 God talks about the husband and wife becoming one, it's, it's really becoming one, because whatever happens to your wife happens to you. Whatever happens to your husband happens to the wife. So the, it's nothing about, uh, what about me? You know, is it only about him? No, no, if you see it that way, then you you, you lose touch with what with what your it's all about. Joy, your joy comes from fulfilling your purpose. Exactly, you your joy comes from fulfilling your yes. purpose. Mm. If you understand that you're not achieving your purpose, means you're delaying your own joy. Mm. If you're not achieving your purpose, you're delaying mm. your. Own joy. I don't exactly. know what woman is happy when her husband is sad. I don't know who I don't know what woman can thrive, what wife can thrive, what, what kind of wife can thrive when her husband is not happy. Mm. But when he is happy, she will be happy also because it's, exactly, it's, 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 exactly, it's, no, it's contagious. Mm -hmm. so everything. You, you also mm -hmm. find the joy from seeing that the person you helped succeeded. Yeah, whatsoever you, thing whatsoever uh, outcome that comes in that marriage both of you yes. share it yes both of you share it so yes. we have a comment from victoria and she says communication is so important in relationships the yes. more you guys communicate the more you guys know love exactly. and understand each other yes. thank you vicky victoria you spoke like someone that's been married for for 30, 30 years <laughs> <laughs> she has spoken so wisely <laughs> thank yes. you so much <clears throat> so 
Yeah, so um, uh, we are establishing what really the role of a of a woman is. So let me just give a rundown because we, are, we, we will soon be ending the live yeah. show. So okay. uh, we are talking about um, the woman's role as being the helper. And we've established what it means to be a helper. It doesn't yeah. mean you are down. You know, it means you, you cannot be, you, the man cannot do without you. You know, you just like the Holy Spirit is our helper, we cannot do without him. That's that's how we are supposed to see it. And and we, 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 and then the next thing I want to talk about a little more, it's it's um the role of the woman being to encourage and appreciate the man. Because mm -hmm. we, we are talking about roles, and don't come for me and say, Oh, is it only about the man? No, we are going to do the role of the husband as well, and they have their own role. But what is your role? To encourage and appreciate him. Why? Because the bearer of a vision, the leader needs encouragement. The leader needs appreciation. So as he's the leader in that home, as he's the one that bears the vision of that home, he's the one that carries it, he needs to be encouraged and appreciated. And I remember, you know, being told that, you know, that, you know, there is a feeling of every husband when they are being appreciated by their wives and and hot and and by their wives that it, 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 anyone can appreciate it, their husband outside and you'll be like oh thank you but when it comes from the wife it's different because you're feeling a need in him that 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 he that it's that that's what compliments him from you yeah so mm -hmm. your role is to appreciate and and and, and encourage him you know so hello do you have anything to say about that yes i have something to say mm -hmm. uh, if we look at um the model of um, Abraham and Sarah. Hmm. Right? Abraham, Sarah referred to Abraham as her Lord. Mm -hmm. I think it's good for us to understand. I'm not, I'm not saying that you people should go around now calling your husband's Lord, Lord. Yeah, of course. But we have to understand that word. It was heavy. You know, it's a, it's a big word. You know, how do you how do you how do you praise your husband? Mm. It's very important. Let's let's it praise is good. Mm. For the man. First of all, we have to establish because I think a lot of people, a lot of women are really feeling bad that oh, we make it as if it's only the man, it's only the man. Let's focus on our roles today. Today we are focusing mm -hmm. on today. No, we we'll come for the yeah. man, then we have the role of the we man. Are focusing yeah. on our roles as the wife, right? Praise is good on you. Me, praise is good on me. If somebody praises me, I want to do more. Mm. Now that I know what it, how it feels. Bible says, if you know, if you know to do good and you don't do it, to you it's a sin. It's a sin if you know what to do and you don't do it. So you see something that is good. Why don't you praise him? Why don't you encourage him? My husband, you're doing well. Mm. you're doing well especially mm. when he does well i'm not saying when he does bad you go and praise him yeah exactly for what he has done, mm. what he done. you know what he has done as a wife. Yeah. You, know what he has mm. done. you know what he did yesterday and that he what he did today is better than what he did yesterday mm. praise him his conversations praise him if he can if he he handles his convers conversations well Praise him when he talks to the children. Praise him if you feel that he did it, you know, the way you expected or the way beyond your expectations. Praise him if he did it well. Mm. Praise him. Mm. If he didn't do it well, look for another thing to do. We are talking about yeah. praise and encouragement now. If mm. he's feeling down, praise him. Yeah. Well, him. Thank you so much, Eloho, for that. For him. Give him words and show uh, reflect on words in the Bible. Mm. Pray for mm. you, you want to be prayed for. So mm. pray for him. What you would like somebody to yeah. do to do it to him. What you would mm. like him, what you would like him as your husband to do to you, do it to him. Yeah. Yeah. To him and let him flourish. You have to create the enabling environment. That's what a, a wife, a, a wife's role is. Mm. She's an administrator. She makes sure that no matter what he faces outside, when he comes into the house, peace. There is peace. When he comes into the house, there is food to eat. And if there is no food, there is joy to meet. Yeah. Okay, there is yeah. joy to eat. 
Yes. <laughs> peace, <laughs> peace, respect, yes. and appreciation is yes. greater than cooking and cleaning. Yes. You can cook and clean all you want. And if you don't give these core things as a wife, yes, you are not playing your role because no man can succeed in an environment where where there is no there is no peace, where there is no respect, where there is no submission to his leadership. No man can do well in such an environment. So you're not playing your role. So that's why you're establishing that it's 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 more than it's it's far more than cooking and cleaning. And if you want to find true satisfaction do these things the way the, the the father has 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 intended for yeah, you to do it yes. that is where the real joy is and mm -hmm. there is purpose that's how you fulfill your purpose as a wife in that marriage and mm -hmm. in the end there is always there is always appreciation you talked about the the proverbs there's one woman whose whose children you say he had children call her blessed the husband call her blessed yes. listen god the, the ways the, the ways of god is wise Yes. The man might you know society can take this submission, love thing, and mix it up, but it remains the truth. There is purpose and there is wisdom in God's in in, in the way God has put things to be. Yeah, you know. Yes. So mm -hmm. don't don't just think that as a woman, your own is just to sit at home. And and the love, I want to mention one more thing. Yes. Because most times uh, women think like, oh, my role, I, be, my because I'm the wife, I can't bring in any financial thing. You know. If I'm bringing financial thing, that means I'm playing the man's role, you know, because the society has made it in such a way that, you know, they say, the, in fact, the only role that the man is supposed to be to play is to bring in money. And then he, if he doesn't bring in the money, he's not playing his role. So if I'm the one as a wife bringing in the money, that means I'm playing his role for him. You know, you, you well, we live in a world where, especially in this diaspora, both people must work. In, in most countries, yeah, in, in the Western world. Winnie, you yeah. have already said it. You said mm -hmm. it already, that she should know her value. She mm. should know she's valuable. If you know, okay, the man is the one searching, you know. Yes, we know that the man is the one searching. But as a woman, I think we need to understand that we are very valuable. Mm. So valuable that Proverbs 31.10 says, a wife of noble character who, who can find she is far what more than rubies mm. we are invaluable that's what we are so we need to know first of all when we know we will not fret about okay we are the ones bringing in if we read that proverbs 31 the kind of wife that this woman is recommending for her son she says she gets up while he's still nine. She provides food for her family, portions for her female servants. She considers the field that she buys it out of her earnings. Mm. She has been earning long time. She has been earning. This I, woman, I, I love her. this yeah. wife has been earning even in the olden days. Yeah. And now it's mm. not. It's you know your worth. You have to yeah. know that. You have. You are yeah. beyond cooking and cleaning. You are more than that. You yeah. are you, you you create investments. You are you have a capacity that you don't even understand that you have. Mm -hmm. Um another thing, another thing in the promise that to one woman I want to say is that when you see the way she's portrayed, she, she lives her life if so effectively that, that you feel like she doesn't have a husband. At the same time, you can see that she has a husband. And that she 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 puts in that she adores so much, she respects, she submits to. So when you have to leave, you, you need to play your role as a wife in such a way that you, you do everything so consistently at the same time, you make sure that the, the, the husband's uh, position and and his his role is not being compromised by yours. It's not about me doing just just be you, just fulfill God's purpose. Do you what is God calling you to do? If God is calling you to whatever thing is calling you to do, just do it. But at the same time, you're doing it in that place. And yes. there is honor when we do things this way. There is honor yes. when we do things the way God intends. And there yes. is there is pure joy and satisfaction. If you do yes. things this way, you won't be one of the wives that you know that sits and say, Oh, this is marriage is marriage is. You know, I can't do this anymore. You know, they have taken it's like you feel like they have taken everything away from you. 
it, it means there's something because that's not that's not the feeling that you're supposed to have. It's yes. it's, it's it's so joyful. I, I used to tell myself that if, if they give me another opportunity to be a husband, I would say no, me. I love to be a wife because I just enjoy it. You know, we we are so precious. We why is a why is a woman considered so precious? It's because she is. You know, yes. she the, the, the home cannot do without her. I don't even know how to put it like, like oh no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, 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 yes, that you have said it already, Winnie. Mm -hmm. A husband cannot do without a wife. Mm. Without a wife, there is no husband. Yeah. Without a husband, there is no. There wife. is no wife. That is it. So yes, and the wife will diligently a good wife. Mm. Her price is far above rubies, but she needs to. And we just need to discover our full potential. Yeah, in Christ, you know, God needs to in reveal Christ. it to us. Yes, yeah. well, we can because I remember reading this verse, and I was like, I remember reading this um chapter, and I was just thinking, ah, I can't half of this one. I haven't. <laughs> I can't, I'm not measuring <laughs> up. I'm not measuring up. But yes, the, the, it just goes to tell us that. There is a lot we can do if we set our minds to yeah. it as, a, as yeah. a wife. As mm. a wife, there's so much more that we can do. But mm. when selfishness comes into it, that we are beginning to look, oh, if I do all of this one, if I do all of this one, somebody else is the one who is going to take the glory. Somebody else, when we are beginning to allow self to come into it, we miss the mark. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hello, there is one more thing I, I want us to talk about before yes. then we close because we have just like three minutes. Let's be very, it, yeah. it, let's be very, let's be very brief. Okay. Let's okay. talk about nurturing the children. The, uh, there is a we role. Are talking, we, we are talking about wives, Winnie. When we, this is one point I wanted to, to for us to make today. That's why I read the definition mm -hmm. of the word wife. Mm -hmm. A wife operates, it's, there's no, we're not one of children in this context. Because when you put mm -hmm. children in context, you are beginning to talk about uh, a family, you are beginning to talk about a uh, motherhood. Mm -hmm. So in no, this, if, you, if you don't, if you mm -hmm. don't mind, I, I, I was thinking that it's good to leave this, this wife mm -hmm. and understand her, for her to understand her role, understand what she is called to do, because it's mm -hmm. a calling. She needs to understand what she's called to do and mm -hmm. how she go about achieving this her calling. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when we bring children into it, we are beginning to talk about motherhood and all of yeah. that. So, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I was bringing that point just to briefly say something about uh, it's still it's to the role the role of the wife because in, in the in the home as well, mm -hmm. in as much as to the husband, because the role of the wife in the home. It's, it's to nurture. And yes. what are you nurturing? You nurture the, 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 the like, you, you are the determinant of the atmosphere in the it's home. Real. Like, you're the one, yeah. and we come still to the children as well. No, I don't, you are right that, you know, we shouldn't go into the children because we talk about motherhood, but, but you're nurturing to extends in every way. You, you are the nurturer, the administrator. So yes. I think with that, you know, it brings in that me house, out. in that house, in that, in that home where you are now, with your husband, he is your first. How do you say it? You nurture him. You nurture him first. Yeah. Anybody who comes into the into house, that home is nurtured by you. Is nurtured, receives yeah. that nourishment. You know, mm. gets that first touch. Mm. Oh, this home. Oh, this home. You make an impact in that life before the person goes. Any guest that is coming into the house should uh, 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 should 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 be touched by your ministration. In that house, right? So that is that is the yes, that is yeah. the area of nourishment. Yes, your yeah. neighbors, oh. your yeah. neighbors, your in-laws, your family, they, they benefit from the nourishing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, we, uh, so we've established it, and we've come to the end of this um, this live. But hello, you know me. I, I just like like to give like a brief overview, so yes. that at least someone can get exactly what we've been talking about. So what we'll yes. be saying is that the role of a wife. Is more than cooking and cleaning. The role of a wife, it has to do more with, mm -hmm. with how God intends her, with what God in, intended for her. And what mm -hmm. God intended for her is to help, to be a helper mm -hmm. and to be an encourager, 
to be yeah. someone that is going to help that man, you know, fulfill the plan that God, that God has for him. And in doing that, she's in turn fulfilling her own purpose, just like the Proverbs 31 woman who is now being talked about the whole world. But she, yeah. she didn't fight to be anything, but she just yeah. played her role, you know. So your role is more than cooking and cleaning. It's, mm -hmm. it's more, and we pray that women, married women around the world, they are going to, yeah. to ask the father to reveal to them what is their Amen. purpose in that marriage. Ask the father, Amen. if you're in a marriage where you feel dissatisfied, you feel like, oh, I, I can't feel this joy that I'm supposed to feel, you feel like you lack something, pray unto God. Let him reveal to your heart what exactly he's calling you to, to do in that, in that position where you are as a wife. You know, how does he want you to go through it? So he, he has the only key, you know, to whatever thing you're going through. So, Eloho, do you have the concluding statement? You have said it, oh, my dear. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 31, woman, I, mm -hmm. I really pray that we can get more revelations by reading it, studying it, praying, trusting the Holy Spirit to... Mm -hmm. Amen, more. amen. This, well, this was amazing, you know. I really yes. felt, you know, I, I really felt... I don't know, but this was amazing. So yeah, we thank everyone who has watched. We thank yeah. Rosalind. We thank Vicky. Uh, Cassie, everyone, even those that are watching that haven't been part of it, I thank yeah. you guys. Every yeah. Friday we have a live show, and Elo is always coming. You know, she's always coming back. She's filled with so much wisdom. You know, may God continue to bless her. So we thank you. We thank you for coming. We thank everyone that has watched. So we have come to the end of this podcast, and see you next Friday for God another live show. Bye bye. God bless you.